What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Hope y'all are well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous weekend so far. I just woke up. Just literally woke up. So we're going to dive in though and see what messages come out for you, y'all. Yesterday was a rough, rough day. It did not go any way that I planned whatsoever. Whatsoever. Now let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Let's see this for Scorpio. Whoa. We got yin and yang and the sun and their strategy at the bottom of the deck. Something about balance. Something's going to be illuminated. 22. Passive and active and intuitive and logical. So this card represents energetic life cycles and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cyclic energy moving into or out of your experience. Okay. And its upright position, it heralds a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. This is a time of great receptivity, intuition, and gestation. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examining, I'm sorry, examine present activity. It is an especially good time for completion, so wrap things up. Yin cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective, so open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. And that affirmation is, I am open to understanding the cycle I am in, and I am willing to utilize its energy beneficially. All that I need is already part of me. That's what that is. And then... And then the sun. Okay, new beginnings and great creativity. So the sun brings blessings to the earth, and this card pretends blessings in your own life as well. Just as the sun nurtures the earth, bring a new life in the spring and summer. This is your time for a new beginning, the onset of a nurturing new light in your life, the light of divine inspiration and personal growth. This card often marks the time of great creativity, bringing the culmination of an important new project, such as the birth of a baby or the writing or publication of a book or even the birth of a new you. Now is the time to put your energy into expressing your truth and vision. Visualize the light of divine love pouring into your heart and mind like the rays of the sun, bringing inspiration, growth, and abundant blessings. See the future, oh, see the future you want to create and know the sun is shining on your intentions now. And then that card, affirmation, I open my heart and life to the creative inspiration of divine love. I choose to create happiness in every new day. All right. And then strategy is on the bottom of the deck. So you may need to strategize how to get through this. The world, hostilities, impatience. It could be time to expand. Some of y'all may be traveling here. There could be an argument. Okay, hostilities amongst you and some people, though. So just be patient with this person or have patience in a situation. All tied up. Woman holding a coin. Happy family. So somebody could be tied. Something you could be feel bounded to something, binded to something, binded to your work. And the garden and the gate. Yeah, it's time to step outside your comfort zone. Some of y'all are like really binded to work, like head down and work. And you got like this happy family in the garden and the gate. It's time to like get out there, explore, have some fun, step outside your comfort zone in some sort of way. The thinking man. Angel balance. So somebody's trying to like help bring balance in your life or somebody's thinking about how you can bring balance in their life or something like that. Oops. What's going on? What's the yin and the yang and the sun? What's the yin, yang, and the sun? What's going on? 
confession. Someone has to tell you something is here. What else? What's going on? Move on. Someone that's unavailable. A waste of time is over. And then open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Bottom of the deck, intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So there's something where somebody's not listening to their intuition. Somebody may have to tell you something or somebody may want to talk to you about something. Or this could be you. But somebody's emotionally unavailable and they're ready to move on or somebody needs to move on from a situation. Because somebody wants to go towards new love. That's what it looks like. What's the confession? Confession for Scorpio. Wait, I got the deck up there. upside down, y'all. Hold on. What's the confession for Scorpio? Clarify the confession card. Temperance. Balance, peace, moderation, inner calmness. Relation, a harmonious relationship. Somebody wants to confess about the strength, inner strength, compassion, tame and bravery, confidence. Somebody needs to have the confidence that somebody wants to. And it could be coming in slow, Knight of Pentacles with the strength card. That somebody wants a harmonious relationship, but somebody could be stressed out, Nine of Swords with the Ten of Cups, about a marriage or about stability, uh, family, a reunion. Somebody could be stressed about moving on from that. Somebody could be Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Chariot. Yeah, about overcoming some some sort of family or security or another relationship. Working together, Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, working together to build together, but somebody's like stuck in the head. Somebody could be burdened, stressed. Focusing on the past. There could be gossip going around. What's so? Uh, let's see. What is this? Somebody wants to bring peace to a situation or bring balance to a situation. Like, and somebody could be confessing that, like, I want this harmonious relationship, or somebody feels like somebody's a soulmate. What's the confession? Scorpio. Police station. I miss you at the bottom of the deck. So we have police station. Something about the police could be a significant. Love spell. Somebody could be under a love spell. Twin flames. Somebody could be, somebody could feel like somebody's under a love spell. Thinking that uh, somebody's their twin or this could be a twin flame union. And it's kind of like this, but this feels like a love spell. Is this the false twin? What is this? I miss you at the bottom of the deck. Clarify this confession card for Scorpio. Shady. So, yeah, somebody's like, no, nah, this ain't true. This ain't, it's like a love hate thing. It's like, I love you, but I hate you at the same time type of energy. What's the confession? What's the confession card? Massive regrets. So somebody regrets being shady towards somebody, trying to like put them under a love spell. Somebody be acting like they fake busy all the time. What's the confession card with the temperance? I miss you. Somebody misses somebody here. Bottom of the deck, I love you. Yeah, somebody's in love with somebody, but they feel like somebody's under a love spell. Somebody's being shady, and somebody has regrets about being shady. Now somebody misses somebody. Divine Feminine, effed up over you and Jezebel. But left you hanging, no closure, no contact left on red. Yeah, somebody 
What the hell? So somebody could be, somebody's divine feminine could be stuck in their head. Like they feel messed up because somebody was being a Jezebel. They left them hanging or left them on red, wasn't answering, wasn't responding. And so somebody misses somebody. move on now somebody misses somebody it looks like and something about the cop somebody could have got arrested okay somebody could be a cop but somebody feels like somebody has them under a love spell like they're in a relationship but something shady somebody's doing something shady and somebody's regretful about it because now they missing you or they missing this person or What's the move on card for Scorpio? What's the move on card? The high priestess. Five of cups. Yeah, somebody's in loss and despair, guilt. Focusing on like isolation, focusing on the negative. Somebody feels alone. The high priestess though is about mysteries or like inner knowing. Somebody like innerly knows something. It's like discovering the truth, going within. That someone's just emotionally unavailable. Somebody's a waste of time. It's like, it's like, man, I know this person a waste of time. I don't need to be dealing with them. Something's coming. Something's coming to the light about that. Like, man, this is a waste of time. Like, I don't even. It's like an inner knowing. Like, I know I shouldn't even be trying to. Somebody could have got a reading. It's like there's still some stuff that ain't came out yet that you could be finding out. It, it could be coming out now with the sun. Let's just move on. Let's just move on for, for Scorpio. Somebody's not happy. Shocking news. Yeah, some, some could be coming out shocking news and then not happy. Somebody could be, something could be coming out. Some sort of secret could be coming out or there's a secret being held and somebody's not happy about it. Let's move on. Card for Scorpio. Trapped. Yeah, because somebody feels trapped or somebody could be watching somebody from a secret account. Let's see. What's going on with the move on? Divine Feminine. You could be this Divine Feminine. feminine. You could be dealing with one. Queen B, secure, confident, boss B, career focused. Somebody could be focused on their work. Or somebody's really focused on their work right now. Somebody's not happy though. Fine, but where is this? Move on. Shocking news. Legal matters, divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic ticket. Somebody could be going through a divorce or some or finding out that They're on child support or there could be somebody a ticket. Somebody could be getting a ticket, you know, make sure you're driving the limit or something and stuff like that. But divorce, criminal paternity, divorce and property. Somebody could be going through a divorce, a separation, a breakup. What's the move on card? Whoa. Cope. Somebody could be coping with alcohol, drugs. Faith, healing, meditation, and praying. And somebody's like praying about it. Something about alcohol and drugs could be involved too. What's the move on? Scorpio. Move on, Scorpio. Scorpio. Memories. Left you hanging. No closure, no contact. Left on red. Somebody could be have memories of like being under the influence or somebody could be under the influence and they're reminiscing about something or they're having some sort of memories. Let's move on. Someone that's unavailable. Divine masculine energy. There could be a married couple. Secret accounts. Somebody could be watching somebody from a secret account. Bad news. Pop the question. Phony trickster illusions. 
fairy tale. Somebody feels like something's jackass. Oh, wow. Well. Somebody feels, somebody could be getting some bad news that somebody isn't as serious as they thought they were with the person. Fed up. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody feels like they fell for an illusion or they got tricked. Faith, healing, meditation, and praying. And family. Block. Heartbreak. So, oh, wow. Somebody feels like somebody that they popped the question to or they married or got engaged to, they feel like it was all an illusion. It was a trick. It was phony. It's not real. And somebody's just like fed up with it. They just want to heal. They want to heal. They're praying about it. They're meditating on it. They could even be blocking out like family and stuff like that, but they're going through some sort of heartbreak right now or something. Man, this is crazy. But somebody feels happy. They, like they feel, somebody feels stuck. Like they're not happy where they're at and they're stuck. They feel like they're in a trap and they just want to get out of it. And there could be some sort of shocking news that's coming out while either somebody's either under the influence, while they're drunk, while they're high, you know, something like that. There's some sort of major regret. Five of Cups. Five of Wands. Yeah, somebody could be doing some soul searching. The Hermit, Five of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Somebody could be going within, doing some soul searching. This could create some sort of drama, argument. You know, there could be some sort of chaos or something like that going on. Where somebody feels rejected, depressed, bored, refusing an offer, and somebody is like somebody just feels some sort of unwelcome change or something. What's the open up your heart? Oh, Scorpio. The King of Wands. Ten of Wands, but somebody's burdened, overwhelmed. Somebody wants to open up their heart. They want to be optimistic. Somebody wants to. Somebody could be inspiring another person. Somebody's realizing that they need to open their heart up to the king of wands. What's this? Open up your heart energy. Psycho. Crazy eggs won't let go. Self-love. But somebody could have a crazy ex. Let's open up your heart. GPS. Somebody could be tracking somebody. Off and on, heightened cold, detached, and ghosted. Somebody could be ghosting somebody. Spiritual gifts. Somebody could be uh, tapped in. Living in a moment and living in a moment here. Somebody needs to tap into their spiritual gifts and live in a moment. Under pressure, anxiety, decisions, times running out. But somebody could be feel like feel like they're running out of time. What's going on? Let's open up your heart. Karmic ties. And then romance. Karmic ties keep running. It's like somebody could be trying to run away from somebody. They don't want to be in a relationship with this person. Uh, they could be tied to like a, a ex or something like that. That's like tracking them, trying to, you know. But somebody's, all somebody's worried about is like living in the moment, having a good time, being optimistic, being in charge of their life. King of Wands energy. <clears throat> um. And going towards like real love, like real romance. No strings. Love message. Sex addiction. Queen B. Secure, confident, boss B, career focus. And I love you. They could be in love with somebody else. Could have been a situation where there's where no strings attached. But there could be like love messages. Somebody could have like a sex addiction or something. Or they're like sexually addicted to the other person. This could be like a business person. Somebody that runs their own business, entrepreneur type of energy. They're in love. But they feel like, look, phony tricks or illusions. Somebody feels like it's just an illusion. Spiritual. Yeah, somebody's going through a spiritual death. Chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. Drinking, toxic lifestyle. Jackass. Okay, so somebody could be realizing it's 
if somebody gets under the influence, somebody could have like a whole ego death and realize how toxic of a lifestyle somebody actually lives. How much somebody could just be being a jerk while they're drunk too. What's up, the jackass? Yeah, fed up. Thug. Feeling like shit. Off and on, hot and cold, detached and ghosted, bumping heads. Somebody could end up ghosting you or detaching from somebody after an argument, love and hate. It's like, I love you, but I hate you at the same time, funeral. And so somebody going to put an end to it, getting rid of it. This could be somebody that's getting a reading on you or has been watching a tarot reading on you or something like that. It's like you you may have a different view of somebody or somebody has a different view of you after a, a drunk night or something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's get um last messages. Last messages for Scorpio. Gemini. Capricorn. March. P. N. Aries. Now Virgo. November. Cancer. October. B. Libra. And the initial V. So I'm going to leave it there. Let's say P, N, B, and uh, V. This is what I have for you. Scorpio, I hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.